What is your, your take on, on Shoyinka's uh, recent interventions, especially what he said recently in South Africa during an interview with uh, Mokendibe? Well, um, uh, Shoyinka is an elder. And as an African, uh, you know, I do respect my elders. And in this case, he's an elder in the real sense, in terms of his age. He's also an elder in terms of being a writer, right, and, and an artist. So I um, speak with caution, you know, and having said that, um, I think it's really unfortunate the way that he made his selective interventions in what was unfolding um, in, in Nigeria in the past um, uh, year. Um, I think it's, it's certainly clear that he had a partisan um, you know, position, um, an agenda that nearly everything I've heard him say about the elections is a criticism of Peter Obi, Labour Party, the obedience, so-called, and, and so forth. Um, not much of any concern with the very reason why uh, both uh, Atiku and his party and Obi and, and the Labour Party are in the courts today, whether it's in terms of the, con the conduct of the elections, the questions being asked of the um, uh, the the candidate the then candidate of the APC in terms of his backgrounds and so forth, which are still being prosecuted in the courts today, in the United States, right? So for him to pay no attention to some of the concerns that produce the enthusiasm uh, that we saw among the young people, um, you know, looking to Obi because of his record and background in terms of what Achebe was complaining earlier about leadership in Nigeria, that they saw this individual, that's Peter Obi, as someone who comes close to the kind of leadership Achebe's critique anticipated. So for Shoenka to not um, recognize these aspects, but instead to keep either reminding these people or calling them names and so forth. I thought that as, a, as an elder, uh, a highly respected elder, that he would have been, um, you know, a bit more careful uh, in how he addressed these questions.